Right then, I've got the questions from my YouTube video. So earlier on I answered questions from Instagram and now I'm going to do YouTube. So a healthy mummy cat asked me lots of questions and the first one is what does your job involve? Um, my title that everyone will understand is legal secretary but my official title that I'm is DPU operator so that means that I work from home and I do I work full time and I do audio dictation audio typing which is you listen to the person talking and you type up what they say so that's correspondence documents witness statements things like that um, and then I also do big documents so like amending, copy typing, um, drawing tables, drawing pictures, all sorts of things like that, doing to uh, um, so yeah big documents like leases and um, tables comparing things and all sorts of things like that and my firm are, it's a firm of solicitors and they work in the insurance industri in industry I'll get my teeth in. Um, and most like it's medical, so it's um, personal injury, so people who've been in car accidents or um, accidents at work or they've had a brain injury or things like that. Um, and because I, I trained as a medical secretary, uh, it's my line of work. So yeah, that's, um, that's a bit more about my work. Um, and then she says, what keeps you inspired and motivated? I've sort of answered this, uh, but yeah, it's certificates, measurements, regular photos, having regular small goals, um, thinking about that number on the scales each week, um, and my marvellous YouTube community. Uh, next question is what is your ideal weight and or dress size? I think I've answered that. If you had to choose three favourite foods, what would they be? Um, I, think it, I think it would be chocolate, which you can still have on Slimming World. I think the next one would probably be lasagna. Um, either a really naughty one or one that you can make on Slimming World. I do like both versions. Um, the one that I make, I make a slow cooker lasagna um, and that is really nice. Look up two chubby cubs if you're interested in making that. A third food is probably something like chips. Um, yeah, real, real chips or Slimming World chips. You probably notice how often I have them. And you can have them, that's what Slimming World is all about. Um, next question is, what is the best thing about losing weight? It's definitely um, having more energy, um, being able to do more things around the house and being more up for just anything that's happening. Before I would have been, oh, I don't know whether I can do that or I want to do that or... I can't fit in those chairs, or I can't do this, or I can't do that. Um, so yeah, it's definitely things like that. And the other best thing is having my YouTube channel. <coughs> um, that's the other best thing that's come out of my weight loss. Um, are there any downsides to losing weight? I think it would be having to say no to things. Um, like for example today we've been in the in Marks and Spencers and I've had to not buy a lot of the things that I would have bought even though you can sin for anything you want to eat on Slimming World it's just not sensible to have a house full of crap it's not sensible to buy pork pies it just isn't um, and I think the other thing would be I think what everybody's scared of is loose skin but I'm trying to focus on the positives very much 
and thinking that I'm going to be lighter and healthier and live longer is the most important thing. Um, the next one is, do you have a life goal you have yet to achieve? Um, no, not really. I would say probably losing, losing a bit more weight is a big life goal for me. Um, my other life goal was um, passing my driving test, which I only did about 18 months ago. Um, I think the only other thing I would do is perhaps a change in career to something a bit more meaningful, something like a midwife or um, something like that that's a bit more meaningful. But I'm not sure whether that will ever really happen because it's obviously a lot of work, a lot of university work and things like that and it would mean changing our lives entirely. So I think I'll probably stick where I am but it's one of those things that I always like to think about. Um, what do you like to do to relax? Um, probably just watching the telly, um, that's about, and playing my iPad games. Uh, and when there's the three of us on the settee, that's what I like doing. Um, occasionally I do a jigsaw, or I used to do colouring, adult colouring, but I haven't done that for a while. But yeah, just I'm just a simple girl, like my telly and films and things like that. So thank you Kat for all those questions. Um, Susan also asked about working from home. Um, Basically, I worked as a legal secretary in the office in Leeds for five years and they then outsourced all their um, typing work and the work that I've mentioned, demanding documents and things, to people working from home. So they said, who would like to go and work from home? And some of us applied and we were successful, so we were all set up from home. So... That's, that's that. I've already sort of said more about my work from home. Uh, if you want to look at my office tour, there is a um, video down below and I think I talk a bit more about my work during that video. Pearl says, have you ever suffered from binging? I wouldn't say I was a binge eater, no. Um, I was never one of these people, you know you see in the magazines and, and they list what they ate before, that wasn't me. I just ate the wrong things all the time and had no exercise. Um, so no, I, had, I don't really suffer with binge eating, um, but I just, I like my, like I say, lasagna, pork pies, chips, all the bad things, cheese, but not to excess, but I would just eat that all the time and never anything healthy and never do any exercise. So, yes, I'm just looking through my comments. Um, Phyllis asks, let me just have a drink. If the, Did the weight creep on over a long time and what inspired you to do something about it? I would say yes, it mostly has crept on over a long time. Um, I think I've been overweight since my early teens. Um, as I say, the first time I went to Weight Watchers, I was 15 stone 7 at the age of 17. Um, and I've, I've basically put a stone on for each year. So by the time I was... Um, 24 or so, I was probably already 20 stone. Um, 18 months before I met Andrew, I was 19 stone 7. Um, so yeah, I, that and then it slowly, slowly crept on. Um, I've, I've talked about what inspired me to do my journey, I've already answered that question. Uh, Louise asked, how did you and Andrew meet, which I've already answered. And have you lost weight on Slimming World before? No, I've never done Slimming World before this time. 
Uh, the diets I've done before are Weight Watchers two or three times and I've done Diet Chef twice which is meals that are delivered in a box to your door. Um, Karen asked what prompted you to lose weight? I've, I've also talked about this but I also remembered about the London weekend which I've talked about before. Um, we tried to go on a ride and I couldn't go on a ride in the um, Vikings Museum. So I was really upset about not being able to get on this ride and then that, sort of, that was in the February and that was sort of ticking over in the back of my mind and I kept seeing these Facebook um, statuses that said I've lost £3, I've lost £4 each week on Facebook so that inspired me to try Slimming World. Have you got any health problems related to your weight? Yes I do. I suffer with skin problems. I'm not going to go into too much detail but basically in those places that don't see much sun I've got, I had um, very bad skin problems to the point that it would be red raw um, and that is much much better now um, even, even though I've still got a long way to go on my journey much better my um breathlessness is much better oh, and i used to eat um what do you call them chalk tablets indigestion. indigestion tablets like sweets honestly like sweets just roll after roll probably after nearly after every meal and in the night as well suffered from indigestion uh, really badly um, and that is much much better. There's only occasionally now where I need to take to have an indigestion tablet and that's usually when I've had something like Slimming, on Slimming World like chips and a burger and I've actually cut a Slimming World chips and a Slimming World burger with a bun and I've actually cut that down as well now and yeah it's, it's very very rare now that I have to have an indigestion tablet. How old is Alfie? We think he's about 11 or 12. He was a rescue dog and we got him when he was 8 stroke 9 and we've had him 3 years. So yeah, 3 and a half years. So yeah, we think he's about 11 or 12 and he's got Cushing's disease which I've mentioned before which could shorten his lifespan. But we hope he'll be with us as long as, he, as possible. Esther asked do you get food cravings and if so how do you deal with them? Yes I do get food cravings, I crave um, fish um, chip shop chips, I crave things like that but what I'll do is I'll, if I get the craving then I'll start thinking right what can I have instead and I'll think right well I'll have some in world chips or I'll have hash brown waffles. You can get these little hash brown waffles that are one and a half sins each so and they're really like they taste like they've been like chips or and um, sometimes I'll think I'll go I'm I'll be going on holiday so I'll think right I'll treat myself to something like like chips in the restaurant or um, a pudding and I'll think um, I'll have that but I'll do something else to make up for that so I'll do more exercise and I'll do um, I'll compromise and keep my other meals on plan and um, just just try and do as much as I can to minimize what I'm letting myself have while I'm on holiday and I think I've actually been successful at that because Every time I've been on holiday, I've lost weight. Um, how do I cope living with someone that isn't on Slimming World? Um, there are a few things that Andrew has in the cupboard that sometimes I fancy. What the first thing I'll do is look up the sin value. So, for example, he has these little uh, caramel squares from Waitrose. I think they're seven and a half sins. And they're, they're only sort of half a phone size, if that, for seven and a half sins, like a, a caramel square. 
um, and I'll, if I'll think if I really wanted that I would sin for it but te actually 10 times out of 10 I've said no I, I want to have something else that's less sins um, and I keep I keep he usually keeps his treats on the top shelf which I can't reach and also I've got plenty of, of things of little snacks that I can choose from um, that I'm happy to eat so and he has he has changed his meals as well like he'll have some world chips with me um, and he'll cook we'll cook different veg so he'll have peas and I'll have speed veg things like that it's just about compromise really like <coughs> but you do have to have some of your own motivation as well so yeah that's oops I've lost my thing <coughs> that's how I cope living with someone on Slimming World she says this is still Esther because your meals look simple can you do a weekly food plan I've done two or three food diaries before and this is a food diary through the whole of December but yeah every now and then I'll, I will upload a weekly food diary but I don't know if you've noticed my meals are quite similar so I don't want you to get bored if I'm uploading a food diary every week uh, so it'll just be every every few weeks I'll upload a week's worth of meals for you to have a nosy at and then final question from Esther is what are your plans for Christmas are you staying on plan but through Christmas I will be mostly on plan. Every other day except Christmas Day and New Year's Day I'll be 100% on plan. Christmas Day I intend to allow myself a few more sins. Um, it will be mostly Chris, um, Slimming World friendly. There'll be Oxo roasties, Linda McCartney sausages. The only things I'll be sinning for are my gravy and cranberry sauce I think um, and I'll allow myself a few more sins for a couple of tipples like the um, vodka and coke and a Baileys and I'll be having as a, as a treat um, a white bread cake with my tea so I'll have a chicken sandwich and a white bread cake for my tea and then um, New Year's Day, we've got Andrew's parents coming, so we're having a beef roast dinner, which is pr pretty easy to keep on plan. Uh, but I'll be having some of Andrew's mum's trifle afterwards, and I probably won't be counting the sins for it. But what I will be doing is going out for a, a long walk and doing some YouTube exercise videos on both those days and throughout the time because I'll have some time off work so I'll have a bit more time to really get stuck into the exercise and then finally Louise asks how do I stay motivated I've, I think I've already answered that don't forget think about the moment on the scales keep those certificates in sight Keep yourself, fill your plate with free and speed foods at meal times. That's another thing that helps me. That's sort of in answer to all the questions that have gone by. Um, you'll see that I've really started filling my plate with the speed foods and the free foods. So don't be frightened of thinking you need to, you need to eat and you need to eat your three full meals um, so have a look into foods that are slow release like jacket potatoes and sweet potatoes and all your speedy veg is slow release so that it fills you and drink plenty of water so I think I've just seen that another questions come through so I'm just gonna check that out and I'll be back in a second so Hepcat Harley asks to be successful at achieving and maintaining a, a happy body weight, do you think you'll have to count sins forever or will an auto-awareness of food intake kick in? I think that I will have to maintain going to Slimming World and sticking to the plan. 
I'll fi uh, I'm hoping that I'll find some kind of balance but I will always have to have an awareness of sins and portion sizes because I've seen how my weight can pile back on. I have lost two or three stone on several occasions and piled it all back on and more. So <coughs> yeah, I probably if I'm going to maintain a healthy weight then yes, I will have to <coughs> have at least some control over what I'm eating and the the eighty twenty rule is always a good one to keep to. But yeah, I, I, I will always probably keep an eye on the portion sizes and the sins. And the second question is, what is your most missed food? It's probably, there are two, it's probably chip shop chips, but there are some good alternatives out there, as I've talked about many times before. And the second most missed food is desserts and puddings. I don't believe there's that many Slimming World friendly desserts out there that are really, really nice and satisfying. But there's some good alternatives and there are some sacrifices that you have to make to get a weight loss each week. Um, but now and again I will let myself have a treat when I'm on holiday or... But it's just making sure that it's not every day or every week and that's the answer. So thank you so much for all those questions. I think this part of the vlog of the answers will be up, be loaded up separately to my day 17 of Vlogmas, otherwise the video will be too long. But thank you so much for all your questions. Thank you to all my subscribers. Um, thank you for your likes and comments. And if you've got any other questions, then put them below and I'll either answer them in a video or in the comments. Thank you.